number three. This is the continuation of the problem. Here we have bending moment calculations. So now I will be drawing the sign convention first. Clockwise moment to left and anti-clockwise moment to the right. Positive. Anti-clockwise moment to left and clockwise moment to the right negative. So here I can say since we have this beam which is supported at A and free at F. So at the support the bending moment will be zero. So here I have first of all moment at A is equal to zero since it is simply supported next at the free end which is f at point f bending moment will be zero because it is overhanging portion and we know for overhanging portion the moment is zero so bending moment at f is equal to zero since it is overhanging now I will first calculate bending moment at point B and that will be equal to here I have reaction at A whose value was 71.67 kilonewton and reaction at B whose value was 113 reaction at point E 113.33 kilonewton. So if I am taking the moment at point B, I have RA and this produces clockwise moment. So if I take the section at B and to the left of section I have clockwise moment. So that has to be positive. So here I have 71.67 into 2 minus the UDL value given here is 20 kilonewton per meter and the next UDL was 15. Now if I am taking the moment at point A it is 20 into 2 multiplied by 1 which is half the distance and it is producing clockwise moment to the left. So here I have if it produces here at point A and at B the moment would be anti-clockwise so negative so minus 20 into 2 into 1 so moment at B I am getting the value as 103.34 kilonewton meter next I will calculate moment at C now for moment at C I would be getting two values one in which I will not be considering this 30 kilonewton meter moment and the other value in which I would be considering this so the first moment at point C I will call this as to the left of C that is equal to 71.67 into 4 20 into 2 that is negative and the distance is 3 meters from point C so minus 20 into 2 into 3 so here if I calculate the answer it this comes out to be 166.68 kilonewton meter again positive next I will calculate moment at point C considering the external moment which is acting that is 30 kilonewton meter so I will get this as it will be 166.68 plus 
30 that comes out to be 196.68 kilonewton meter so i have got the value of bending moment two values is at point c next moment at point d that will be 71.67 into from d to a the distance is 5.5 next 20 into 2 so here i have minus 20 into 2 that is the udl into point load multiplied by distance from point d is 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 1.5 that is 4.5 next here i have minus 40 into 1.5 plus 30 kilo newton meter which is acting in clockwise direction at point c so i get the answer of moment at d as 184.18 kilo newton meter again this answer is also positive at last i am left with moment at e that will be equal to if i take my section at point e 30 kilo newton is producing clockwise moment if to the right i have clockwise moment that has to be taken negative so I, here i have minus 30 into 1.5 and this value comes out to be minus 45 kilo newton meter so here i have all the bending moment values based on these values we can draw the bending moment diagram I am drawing the bending moment diagram. Its length should be equal to the length of the beam. At A, the bending moment is 0. At B, it is plus 103.34. So I will be marking the values respectively. At A, bending moment is 0. At F, it is 0 because here we have overhanging portion. B, the value is 103.34 next at C I have two values of bending moment the first one is 166.68 and the other value is 196.68 then at point D the value is 184.185 at E, I am getting the value as minus 45. So now, these are the points which I have marked for the bending moment. As I see in the diagram, from A to B, we have UDL. So shear force was an inclined line. Bending moment should be a parabolic curve. Between B to C, here there is no load. Shear force was a straight line. So bending moment should be an inclined line next bending moment increases from 166.68 to 196.68 at point c c to d we ha don't have any load so it is a constant line in bending moment it would be an inclined line between d to e here we have the shear force is changing its sign and since there is UDL, so here we should be getting a parabolic curve. Finally, between E to F, there is no load. Shear force was a straight line, so bending moment should be an inclined line. Here I have to mark that between A to B and between D to E, it is parabola. Parabola is from D to E and from A to B your positive and negative bending moment so here we have completed the bending moment diagram 
and as mentioned in the question they were telling us to calculate or to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram and with this we have completed the problem.